Hello everyone, this is Anrich Mare. In today's video, we are going to look at how to save tax in South Africa using the Retirement Fund Contributions Deduction as at February 2022. So what is it? The Retirement Fund Contributions Deduction is a deduction under Section 11F of the Income Tax Act number 58 of 1962 and it applies to contributions to pension funds, provident funds and retirement annuity funds. So can I claim the total amount that I contribute? The contributions that may be claimed as a deduction in the current year of assessment are however limited to the lesser of 350,000 Rand which is the maximum or 27.5% of the higher of your remuneration or your taxable income. Taxable income of a person will be calculated before including any taxable capital gain. So let's consider the tax effect for three different individuals who want to contribute the maximum they can to re their retirement fund during the year. In our example, we are going to look at three individuals. The first is Ricardo, who is a junior accountant. The second is Liesel, who is a marketing manager. And the th third one is Philip, who is a director of an IT company. In the example, we are going to see um, what the remuneration for these three individuals were, what the maximum contribution can be for the retirement fund contribution, and also how much they contribute and what saving it will produce for them. So in our example, Ricardo earns 240,000 Rand a year, Liesl 600,000 and Philip 1.2 million. If we work out 27.5% of their remuneration, which is their maximum contribution, Ricardo can contribute 66,000 Rand, Liesl 165,000 Rand and Philip 330,000 Rand. We then just want to check if their maximum contribution is less than 350,000 Rand because that is the maximum that a person can contribute in a year. And for all three of them, we can see that it is less than 350,000 Rand. So we're happy with that. So in the fourth line, if we look at the taxable income, which is the remuneration less than maximum contribution, we see that Ricardo will have 174,000. Liesl 435,000 and Philip 870,000. When using the section 11F, the income, income tax payable for Ricardo will be 15,606, for Liesl 84,950, and for Philip 249,373 Rand. In the next line, I've included the calculation just to show you how I got to the income tax payable with the section 11F. And now we're going to work out what the income tax payable will be without section 11F. In other words, if they did not contribute to their retirement uh, fund during the year. So then we will see that Ricardo is income tax payable will be 29,390. Liesl will be 142,725 and Philip will be 384,673. I then again included the calculation below that just to show you how to get to the income tax payable without section 11F. And now in the third row from the bottom, we will look at the difference in tax payable. So for Ricardo, if he contributed the maximum a retirement funding contribution, um, he's, there will be a difference in his tax payable of 13,000 Rand 784. For Liesl, it will be 57,000 Rand 775. And for Philip, it will be 135,000 Rand 300. Then we want to look at what the contribution to the savings in Rand will be for the current year. So for Ricardo, if we contribute 66,000 Rand to a retirement annuity, that will put over or result in a tax saving on income tax of 13,000 Rand 784. For Liesl, it will, say, it will be, if she contributes 165,000 Rand, she will have a tax saving of 57,000 Rand 775. 
For Philip, if he contributes 330,000 Rand, he will have a tax saving of 135,000 Rand 300. In the last row, we look at what the contribution to the savings ratio will be. And we see that for Ricardo, if he contributes 1 Rand, he will have a tax saving of 21 cents. For Liesel, if she contributes 1 Rand, she will have a saving of tax of 35 cents. And for Philip, if he contributes 1 Rand to his retirement annuity fund, he will have a tax saving on income tax of 41 cents. So what did we learn and what else do you need to know? To receive a Section 11F retirement fund deduction, there needs to be a contribution to a retirement fund. The full retirement fund contribution is, however, not deductible, but it is subject to limitations in terms of the contribution. So those limitations are you can only contribute a maximum of 350,000 Rand and also it's limited to 27.5% of your remuneration or your taxable income and also the taxpayer's marginal rate of tax. So what we see is that the contribution to tax saving is linked to the individual's marginal rate of tax. The higher the tax bracket the individual falls in, the higher the contribution to saving ratio will be. And that is what we saw on the previous slide. Uh, the more the contribution is, the more the, uh, the rate of tax or the, the tax scale is, the more the, the saving per contribution will be then any contributions exceeding the limitations can be carried forward to the immediate, immediately following year of assessment and are deemed to be contributed in that following year. So if you contribute more than the 350,000 Rand or you contribute more than your 27.5% in a year, you can then carry the excess forward to the following year. The contributions carried forward are reduced by contributions set off against retirement fund lump sums and retirement annuities. And while there is a tax saving in the current year for contributions made, the tax will be payable at retirement when you withdraw your retirement funds and also if you take out a, a living annuity from these retirement funds when you retire. I've come to the end of this presentation and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. If you found this presentation useful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the notification bell so you'll see new videos in future and also share this video. You're also welcome to check out my YouTube channel for the other um, relevant tax and business development videos and you're welcome to go look at my LinkedIn account. I thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.